Hello everyone, welcome back. The topic for today is electric pulp test from Endodon Geeks. So now what is this electric pulp test? So it is one of the tests which is used to determine the pulp vitality. So you want to see with the help of this test whether the pulp it is vital or whether it is non-vital. So while testing it uses the nerve stimulation. So basically this like pulp tester it uses the nerve stimulation in which you are stimulating the nerves. So now what is the objective of it? So it stimulates the pulpal response by subjecting the tooth to an increasing degree of the electric current. Now as the name says it is electric pulp tester. So over here now what you are doing is you are using the electric current to get that stimulation of your nerve. So in this now what you do is you increase the degree of electric current to get that pulpal response. So a positive response it indicates that the pulp is vital. So if the patient they respond to this electric current. So that means the pulp is vital and if there is no response, so that means the pulp is necrosed. So this electric pulp tester, it is a battery operated instrument which is connected to a probe tip that is applied to the tooth which is under investigation. So this is basically how your electric pulp tester it looks. So this is the probe tip over here. It is a rheostat through which you can increase the electric current and this is the clip that is attached to the lip and this is the metal sheath. So this is like how your electric pulp tester it looks like so it is a battery operated instrument and then what you do is you apply this probe tip over here this is the electrode so you are applying this probe tip to the tooth which you want to see whether the tooth is vital or it is non-vital so now how exactly you perform this test so first is you're going to describe the test to the patient because that can reduce the anxiety of the patient because if you do something new on a patient they become anxious and that can lead to a biased response so to eliminate that biased response you are going to first describe the test to the patient then you're going to isolate the area or the tooth which you want to do the test on and then you're going to check the electric pulp tester for function whether that electric pulp tester is working properly or not so in this you have to remember that before before doing the test on the tooth which is in question you are going to do the test like the same test on a controlled tooth so now over here for example if you want to do the test on one one so you want to check the vitality for one one so the controlled tooth for this one one will be your two one so before doing the test on one one you're going to do the test on two one so for example if you want to do the test on one six so the control tooth it is two six so basically it is like the same tooth but like opposite in the opposite side so that is like if you want to do the on the right side on the molar so your control tooth will be the molar on the left side of the same arch so that becomes a control tooth and then you're going to apply an electrolyte on the tooth electrode so electrolyte it can be a profi paste or it can be a toothpaste so you're going to apply that toothpaste on the tooth electrode and then you're going to place it against the dried enamel so over here you have to see that whenever you're doing the testing so in that the enamel it should be completely dried and it should be completely isolated properly so you're going to apply that electrolyte on the electrode so electrode is nothing but this like probe tip of the electric pulp tester so you're going to apply a electrolyte on this and then you're going to place it against the dried enamel now what is the location of the probe tip like where exactly are you going to place this probe tip so in this you're going to place this probe tip if it is in anterior teeth on the incisal third and if it is in posterior teeth then you're going to place this probe tip if it is premolars then on the buccal cusp and if it is molars then you're going to place it on the middle third of the mesiobuccal cusp so this is like the location of your probe tip and then you're going to complete the circuit so in this you're going to retract the patient's cheek or lip away from the tooth electrode with the free hand and you can complete the circuit by placing this lip clip on the patient's lip so this is like the completion of circuit and then you're going to turn the rheostat slowly to introduce the minimal current onto the tooth and you're going to increase the current slowly so for example now over here this rheostat it has various numbers so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so first you're going to start with introduction to a minimal current so that means you're going to start with number one and then you're going to slowly increase so you're going to increase it to two then to three then to three then to three then to four then to five so like this you're going to increase the current slowly and then you want to ask the patient to indicate when the sensation it occurs by using such word as tingling or warm and then you're going to record the result according to that numeric scale on the pulp tester so this is basically how you do the electric pulp testing so you're going to do this testing first on the control tooth 
to record like where the patient they responds on like which exact numeric number and then you have to do the same test on the tooth which is which is in question so this is the basic procedure for your electric pulp testing so now what are the requirements of the electric pulp tester so there should be adequate stimulus then there should be appropriate application method then there should be careful interpretation of results then tooth isolation is very important when you're doing the electric pulp testing then in the drying the enamel is very important then placing an interproximal plastic strip or use of rubber dam so it can prevent the spread of electrical impulse to the adjacent teeth or the gingival tissue because now if this electric impulses they are spreaded to the adjacent teeth so it can lead to false results so because of that you have to keep this in mind that you are not so you are preventing the spread of this electric impulse then the electric current it can also be transferred between the adjacent teeth through contacting the metallic restoration and if the case is so then the result it will be false result so you have to also prevent this so now which are the various clinical interpretation that you can see after doing this testing so first can be a normal response a so normal response is a positive response so basically it is like now we have done the test on a control tooth and then we have done the test on the tooth which is in question so normal response will be when both the tooth they respond like at the same numeric number so for example if your control tooth it was responding on number 2 and the control and the tooth which is in like question is also responding on number 2 numeric scale for your like rheostat so that becomes a normal response that means the tooth is normal and it is vital so the next can be a negative response so negative response is when the tooth it is non vital that means even if you have set your like current on the highest number even after that the patient is not responding so that becomes a negative response now what is a early response so early response is like it denotes a disease state of the pulp as the tooth it responds to a threshold which is less than that of a control tooth so now early response will be now for example if the like response for your control tooth it was at number 3 and for the tooth which is in question so the question tooth it is responding on number 2 so that becomes a early response so that means it is a diseased state of the pulp now what do you mean by delayed response so delayed response is like vice versa of this early so delayed will be when the control tooth it was responding at number 2 but now the tooth which is in question it is responding at number 3 so that becomes a delayed response so now this like denotes a disease state of pulp wherein the tooth it responds at a significantly higher electrical excitation level then you are comparing it to a control tooth so that becomes a delayed response now what are the false negative and false positive results so false negative will be when the normal pulp they do not respond to the test so even if the pulp is normal but still it is not responding to the test so that becomes a false negative now this can be happened in the cases of calcification so if the tooth is calcified so in that case the tooth it won't respond to the like this electric pulp tester even though that tooth is normal then the next can be the pre medications so if the patient they have like taken pre medication before coming to the pay, like doctor so because of that it can also lead to false negative results then the next can be if there is any recent trauma so in that case also you'll get the false negative results if the apex is immature if there is extensive restoration so if there is extensive restoration so in that case also the patient they won't respond to that particular testing the next can be if there are any pulp protecting bases if the patient is having high pain threshold so in that case also the patient they won't respond then if there is any psychotic disorder if the like your device is only defective so in that case also the patient they won't respond so that becomes a false negative which means the pulp is normal but the patient is not responding now what do you mean by false positive so false positive is when the pulp is non vital but still the patient they respond to the like particular test so that becomes a false positive so it can be in the cases where the pulp it is infected if it is necrosed or if it is gangrene so these are like scenarios in which the pulp is necrosed but still the patient is responding the next can be if the current is conducted to the adjacent teeth through the metallic restoration so because of that we have seen in like the requirements that it should be completely avoided with the help of rubber dams or the plastic strips between the teeth because now if the current is like like spread to your adjacent teeth so that can lead to 
like a false positive result and there can be scenario in which the pulp is inflamed in one canal in a multi-rooted teeth so if it is like multi-rooted teeth but in this case only one like canal it is infected and one is not infected so that can also lead to a false positive result and one more criteria can be like if the patient they are anxious or if they are young, young. so because of that only i have said that whenever you're doing the test so first you have to explain the test to the patient so that you are reducing the anxiety of the patient to like eliminate this false positive result. So these are the various clinical interpretations that you can see after the electric pulp testing. So now what are some important points that you need to remember for this electric pulp testing because these questions they are asked like commonly in vivas and commonly even in your MCQs. So first is it is unreliable in testing the immature permanent teeth because it can give false result then it is not recommended for the assessment of the concussed teeth again it is giving false result because of that so it is not done on the teeth with full coverage restoration now in this because the electric stimulus it cannot pass through that full coverage restoration and because of that again it can give the false result and it is contraindicated so this electric pulp testing it is contraindicated with the in the patient who are with the cardiac pacemaker so again this is a very important point that is very commonly asked in vivas that where is electric pulp tester in like contraindicated so it will be the patient who are having the cardiac pacemaker so these are like some of the important points for your electric pulp testing so that was all about the electric pulp test i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much